Hello and welcome to Virtual Crafts. In this video, we'll see how we can create responsive tables in WordPress. What I mean by the term responsive is that the layout of your table will not be distorted when it is viewed in uh, smaller devices like mobile phones and tablets. It will adjust itself according to the size of the device it is being viewed in. Tables are used very often in our websites to show the analytics of our company or to show the facts and figures of some uh, specific projects you're running in your company. In the last video we saw how we can create contact forms in WordPress. If you have not seen that video I'll put a link in description or you can click the card at the top right corner of this video. So let's start by logging into our WordPress dashboard. We'll have to install a plugin. So go to plugins and add new. Search for a plugin Ninja Tables. Install this plugin. Click Activate when the installation is finished. Okay, we have this plugin installed in our website. A new tab is created here, Ninja Tables, click on it. This is a promotional window to provide your email for Ninja Tables to send you promotional emails, so uh, I'll just skip it. This is a welcome screen for Ninja Tables. Now there are two ways how we can get done with our tables. The first one is that you create your own table, but the other way and the easier way is that you import your table from a CSV file. For this method, you'll design your table in Microsoft Excel and then save the file with the CSV format, then import that file from here. I've created a sample file, so let's start with this method first. Click Import from CSV. You can choose a CSV or a JSON file. Click Choose File and select your file. Click Import and a success message appears that the table has been added. Click OK and you'll see that our table is added. This table as I already said uh, was created in Microsoft Excel. You can delete your rows from here or edit them from here and you can click this icon to duplicate a row. The same works for columns. Okay now how to embed this table on our website. Go to tables tab and copy this short code. Now go to your pages. I'll add it on the home page. I'll add it with Elementor here. Okay, search for the short code module. Drag and drop this element in the content area and paste your short code here. Now your table is embedded. Let's add a heading. Okay, don't worry about how to design with Elementor. Uh, I already mentioned in one of my previous videos that we'll make a short series on how Elementor works. So for now I just make some small customizations. Update it and click on the preview icon. And this is how our table looks initially. We can change some settings. Let's go to our dashboard. Click tables under ninja tables. And edit this table. Go to table design. And here we can change some settings such as show table title in the front end and its description. 
which we have not added any what I meant while I said uh, this table will be responsive is this that this is how your table looks on desktop and in tablet it will be like this and in mobile phone it will be like this click update settings and refresh your website and now you can see the table title is present let's go to dashboard again click edit and change the title to uploaded table you can add a table description too I'll just add dummy content for now just to make the concept clear click update and now refresh the website and now you will see that our description is also visible here another important feature this table gives is that you can search irrespective of case and data type for example you can search for this term bulbs and you'll see only this row here the table has searched for us the row that contains this word as I already said data types don't affect the order of search and you can also put substrings of a word so let's put only 198 of this whole column and it will still list our row here one more thing you can do is that you can click this arrow and you can uncheck the rows you don't want to search in for example I deselect this column here and then search for this term okay now the table will say that no results found because we have unchecked the row that contains this string okay this is how you import a pre-made table now let's see how we can create our own tables go to dashboard tables and click add table give this table a name let's say we are making a table for a result of a fashion so result 2020 batch for description I'll just copy this line and paste it click add now the table has been created I click on add column now add the columns you want to have in this table this will be a text area and add column you have to add another column subject one the data type of this field will be a numeral so click numeral value and add column add another column for another subject and this will also be a numeric value ok let's keep it short and just stick to these three columns click add data now give the names here and marks in both subjects and click add add another student his marks and click add Okay, three students are enough for the demo so click cross now the table's been created as I already mentioned you can edit a row from here you can duplicate it from here and delete it from here okay, let's go to tables and click on preview this is how our table looks just close this now this table has also been created successfully copy the short code go to your elementor page right click this edit section icon and duplicate this section rename it to self created table and change the short code to the new short code click update
and then see our website. This is the table we imported and this is the one we just created. Let's change its basic settings of showing the title and description. Go to your dashboard, click edit. In table design tab, check these two boxes and update settings. Now go and refresh the website and you'll see that it now shows the title and description. You can also search for any column here, for example if I search for this 98 and it will show only this row. There are many more settings here, I will not waste your time I'm going through all of these settings. Just go through them one by one, experimenting and you might find something interesting. There's a tab here, table colors, but this works only for a pro version. So if you have a pro version, then you can select the table colors. Here, we have a warning that this is only a pro feature. And this table is responsive too. You can check how it looks on mobile and tablets. So that's all for this video. Hope it was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing and hit the bell icon next to it to receive the notifications for every latest video I upload. That's it for now. See you in the next video.